Okay, this will be the final video, promise you here. So we just finished up um, putting in the code here for the spawn asteroids, and it took an argument that was the spawn level, and at the moment it was spawn level one. So what it does here is it goes into a loop, because this loop will instantiate the asteroid, the large asteroid, a certain number of times based on what level we're on. So level one, um, and I just sort of found that if we're gonna sort of increase as we, as we go up the levels, we're going to basically increase um, double, you know, times it by two. But I, I found that just two at the beginning was a little low, so I've also added that one in. So basically, first level, two times one is two, plus one is three. There'll be three of them because it's going to run through this three times. So what, does, what happens when it runs through this? Well, what it does is it tries to figure out an index value. And an index value is going to be an integer, so it's a number, between zero and the total number of spawn points that we created. And I believe we had um, 16 of them, and we'll see that when we go back to Unity in a minute here. And so it's basically gonna a value between zero and uh, um, uh, 16, so that will let it go from zero to 15. It doesn't choose the last one. So what it does then is it comes to that list or the array of locations, which are these spawn points, and it will, you know, based on that number, so if it shows five, it will pick the fifth spawn point. If it's 10, it will pick the 10th spawn point and so on. So it's going to randomly select one of those spawn points. Based on that location, then it's going to instantiate, create that asteroid at that location. So we've taken the X and the Y of this location, this transform, and then just set the ident or the rotation to whatever it is. So all we have to do now is spawn the asteroids at that spawn level. So I'm going to come up here to the very top where we said we're going to actually spawn the asteroids right here. So I think I can just do that. And we have to put in the spawn level. I've used the same value here, the parameter and the argument, and that's fine. So it's going to call it with that one there. Now, what we need to do is respawn those asteroids after each um, um, you know, all the asteroids have been destroyed. So we've got a debug log here, right, with the asteroids destroyed. We'll keep that on there. The thing is we need to increment the uh, spawn level. So I'm just going to go spawn level plus plus. And once that's in there, uh, the next thing I want to do is spawn the asteroids again. Spawn asteroids. And we're going to base it on the spawn level. So the second time, right, this would run once level one is kind of finished, uh, we should have it gone up to two, so it runs down to here. And now that's two times two, so that's four, and th therefore five plus one on that. So we'll run through this five times, instantiating five asteroids at random locations. Now obviously um, there's a limit to this, so you know you might want to vary the game right that at a certain point then instead of respawning um the the number of increasing the number of asteroids we start increasing the speed or something like that this is just one way of of dealing with it so let's go to unity and get this working and so what i'm going to do now is get rid of these two asteroids that are in my game okay because i don't want them there um, going back to the game manager, we should see, um, once we click back on that game manager, that we've got a spot, we'll just hide those asteroids there, that we've got a spot here, I've actually dragged it in there, I'll just get rid of that, for our asteroid, which is our prefab, so we'll drag that one in, might as well do that right now. So in your asteroid L, we can drag in the asteroid L. And then below that, we've got our spawn points. Don't make the mistake I didn't put them in the asteroids there. In your spawn points, the size there, and I believe we have 16. So you can set that value. And you can see now we've got element zero. And remember when I talked about the index, those are the index values, zero through 15, okay? So it will be able to choose basically one of these points. And so all I'm gonna do is open these ones up and then just drag them in. So spawn point zero, I'll just do that one. Spawn point one, there, and so on. Now really, the order doesn't matter, but uh, you know, just make sure you've got a different one in each element there. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to pause this here because it's just going to take me a couple minutes. So once they're all in, um, then we should be good to go here, I think. So let's start this off. Just open here. Um, so the first thing that should happen is that we should get three asteroids spawned. So let's just see if that happens. One, two, three. Good. Okay. So then I'll just play these. Ooh, those ones were fast. Okay, I died. Let me... I'm just going to pause this here. I'll go back. My ship. And actually, let me go... Well... Yeah, I'm going to have to... Let me just stop this right here. Let me just go right to my ship and increase my speeds here because... Of course, I'm doing this right at the end. So turn speed was negative 50. Let's take that negative 100. We'll double it. Double this as well. I find it very unresponsive at the moment. Okay, so let's just make sure. This will double test. There's three again. And they seem to spawn in at good spots. Okay, so there's they're re-instantiating. Now there seemed to be a little bit of an issue there. But okay, I died. Thankfully I can go into negatives here. Okay. So let's just see. I'll just go a little slower here. Yeah, we, it does have a little bit of an issue where it sort of instant sheets too many. But for the time being, I think that's okay. I'll see if I can sort of improve the counter idea. That's where we're having the, the issue. Um, I don't know. These are all tagged. So there can't be that problem. So there is something, um, and I've looked into it, and I haven't found a perfect solution yet, but I will I will try to improve that little bit there and put a little addendum. But for the time being, you've got a pretty good Asteroids game. Now, um, in terms of things that you could do to make it better, well, there's quite a bit. Uh, one thing I haven't shown you how to do is the um, the UFOs. And I haven't put the UFOs in here. I will make sure that you've got um, an image of the UFOs. Check out the game, how they work. They basically randomly um, come out of the, the side, sort of, left or right side, and then go across the screen and shoot at you. So that would, uh, and, and the shot is actually directed at you, so that creates a little bit more um, uh, <laughs> impetus to move, I guess. Um, another thing we don't have is the hyperspace. So being able to press a button on the keyboard and being able to randomly locate ourselves in in part of the, you know, a different part of the screen. And so those things there would help make the game look a little bit better. I've also done this very simply with the score and the lives. I believe with the lives, it has a graphic so that it shows like three ships, then two ships, then one ship or whatever, as you lose your lives instead of by um, digits. And another thing that it uh, also does is it has a little bit of animation so that uh, when when a uh, thing explodes, instead of just making the noise, it also plays a little bit of an animation. Uh, the ship has a separate one where it sort of breaks apart and the other one has a typical sort of, you know, little explosion there. So those are all different things that could be added to the game along with our typical, you know, uh, title screen perhaps, um, you know, when the game's over, what happens, and so on. So there's all those little things that you can go ahead and uh, make this game better. But you've got a solid, solid base to work from here. All right, hope you've enjoyed this um, and learned something. But I, again, the cool thing is, is a lot of the stuff that you've used before to develop your Pong game, develop your uh, breakout game, we've used here, and then just added a few new techniques um, and uh, getting you better and better at being a game coder. All right, congratulations on finishing this, and uh, good luck with your modifications.